All right, it's day five, and it's now time to test the specific gravity of our wine to see if it's ready for racking. So basically what I've done is I've got myself a little bit of sanitizer here, which we mixed up in our first video. Then I've got my hydrometer and the test jar. And then back here is the racking cane. Now this racking cane is usually used to siphon the wine from the bucket into the carboy, which is not here. Uh, but I used it to actually extract the samples to put into the testing jar. Now you can get a wine thief, and the wine thief is basically something that you can dip into the bucket and you can shake it, and as you shake it, uh, it extracts samples of the wine uh, into a tube until that tube is kind of full, and then you can just pour it into your testing jar uh, but since we didn't have a wine thief that didn't come in our kit, what I did was I what I did was I took our racking cane, I dipped it into the bucket, I pulled out the uh, airlock, dipped it into the bucket, and then I put my thumb over the end, and then it just extracted as much as I could, and then dumped it into the testing jar. So I had to do that several times uh, until it was full enough, but. Uh, that was all that was really required. Now I did sanitize everything. I did sanitize the, the uh, airlock before I put it back in. And uh, it's like I said, it's bubbling right now. Uh, it's not bubbling as fast as it was in the second and third day. So the fermentation process is beginning to slow down quite a, quite a bit. And so we're really starting to get ready for the transfer, you know, transformation where we need to we need to rack it. We need to move the wine from this bucket into the carboy. But first, before we do that, we need to take a look at our reading for our hydrometer. Now, on this one, you can see what they, they see, typically they say spin it, but I think that's really with beer. Uh, but you can see that it's just sitting there, it's just floating, and it looks like it's about at 1.0, and then there's a 10, and then below that is, a, is 11. So it's, it's like 1.11. So that 1.11 is more than what we need. We're going to have to wait at least another day or two before we rack this wine. The reason for that is that the shook, what ha what's happening inside that bucket is that the yeast is turning the sugar that's in the grape juice, it's, it's basically turning it into alcohol. Now, that alcohol, if you were to take the straight alcohol, like rubbing alcohol or something, and you were to put that hydrometer into that, it would sink to the bottom. Okay, The sugar pushes the hydrometer up. So the more sugar that you have in the testing tube, the higher the, the, the hydrometer is going to rise. The more alcohol you have in the testing tube, then the hydrometer is going to sink to the bottom. So as w once the hydrometer gets to point uh, get to 1.010 or less, then we are ready to rack our wine. So basically, when this hydrometer is almost sitting on the bottom, or or basically, if, if it's like if it goes down and it's like this, then we're ready to go. We're we're good to go. So uh, we're not quite there yet. So we've probably got about another day, another two days. And, and this this was uh, this bucket of wine. This process was started um, on Saturday. It's now Thursday evening, and so we've probably got another day, another two days before we need to actually go and rack the wine.